Bonjour à tous! Hey everyone! So today I have an announcement! I am getting a host sister! I'm so excited! She's from Mexico and she's coming to stay here for two months and uh, she's coming on Sunday night. We're gonna meet her at the train station because she's coming in from Barcelona and I'm so excited! I'm so excited, I'm so excited. don't really know anything about her other than she's studying at a language school next to the Arc de, Tri Arc de Triomphe, way off over there. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna make friends with her. I am determined. And it's great to have someone my age in the house. It's gonna be fun. We're going to eat together and I'll maybe grab lunch with her and It'll be a fun time. It shall be fun. Maybe I'll learn Spanish, like, properly. Because my Spanish is pronounced with an Italian slash French accent. It's not good. It, it's terrible, actually. <laughs> my Spanish might get better, though, which is a good thing. And I'll help her with the French. And I'll help her with the culture type stuff if she's not studying specifically French. But yeah, I'm hoping that we can be friends because we'll be host sisters and it'd be really awkward if we wound up hating each other. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awkward. It'd be so awkward. Uh, but I'm so excited. We're gonna welcome her and make her feel at home and we're gonna gossip and have fun and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna tell myself it's going to be great. <laughs> In other news, I am officially on vacation for a week. Woo! Don't have any real plans to travel. I might look into it, but honestly, there's so much stuff to do here that I want to do. Like go to museums. There's a zoo, and I want to go to the zoo. There's an Amazon room that I want to go to that kind of costs money, but I looked at it, and it's like only like three euro fifty. Not that bad. And the rest of it's free. So I'm gonna go do that. It's gonna be great. And there's an ice skating rink and I love ice skating. So I'm gonna go do that. There's an aquarium, a planetarium, and there's the Musée Fabre, which you can apparently stretch over like three days because it's just, there's so much there. And I'm excited for that because I love museums. And there there's Netflix and YouTube and there is me doing some of my art stuff. There's me reading manga <laughs> because I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I started another one, guys. I started another one. <laughs> Welcome to the world of fruits baskets. This is so cute. The main character is just so sweet and so positive and it makes me happy. And by the way, I'm not reading these in English. They're in French. So they're helping my French, technically, which is great. I actually am learning a lot of vocabulary and it's adorable. Look at this. Look at this. How can you not look at this face and not smile? And she's adorable. She's so cute. She's so cute. She just wants to get to know this family and make them happy. And, and she hasn't had the easiest life either. Like, the whole setup is that this girl, her name is Toru, and she's living by herself in a tent because her mom passed away and she couldn't live with her grandfather because the house was being renovated. So she was living in a tent in the woods, but she was trying to stay positive and she's working a job after she goes to school to pay her tuition and to make sure she can have a good uniform and all of that stuff. And she meets this family and there are origin she meets this family and they have this whole huge secret which is the whole point of this manga and I'm not going to spill it because that would be a spoiler 
but she meets this family with a wonderful secret and she winds up befriending them and they let her stay with them. And of course they wound up, they all wind up loving her and she winds up staying with them and it's about her becoming friends with them. It's just the best pick me up ever. Like if you need to smile, this is a good thing to look at. It'll just make you so happy and help you try to be more positive in the world. I love this. I love this. It's just... She's so cute and sweet and she just tries to do everything properly. Like, she just wants to help. And it's so... I keep using the word cute, but I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> Oh, she's adorable. She's a, just, you want to hug her and she makes you feel bad in the way that you're not as nice and sweet and innocent as she is, but it makes you want to try to be her. And it makes me happy. And I've just spent this basically going over, squealing over having a new sister and this manga. But if you do, actually find yourself interested in this check it out get it it's really good it's so good the art is actually wonderful as well i love it and also still obsessed with black butler i started streaming the anime <laughs> i mean a lot of people say it's not as good as the manga or that it's too dark in the manga in the anime when the manga kind of lightens it up at some points and makes it funny but black butler isn't supposed to be a light-hearted manga or an an or anime it's not a shoujo manga to begin with i mean it's about having a devil as a butler did you think it was going to be sunshine and roses Enough about that though. I think it's good. I like it. Manga is also fantastic, but I will admit that the manga is better than the anime. Um, just because I fell in love with the manga first. <laughs> but that's how it always happens for me. I always prefer the books to the movies. I always prefer that first version before I see the other one. It, that, that's how I work. But that's all I've got for you guys today. Manga and anime and my new co-sister. Ah, life is good. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And we will... Don't know what I'm going to talk about. Well, we'll talk about something. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, wow.